if you've ever dealt with gestational diabetes and have some tips for me or some meals that you think would be great, that would be a huge help. Please comment down below. Forgot to put my makeup on, but we are headed to the doctor's office for 36 week checkup. I also have to do the dreaded glucose test. I haven't eaten anything all day. So hopefully this goes well. <laughs> and we are going to find out once and for all, hopefully, whether this is really a boy or a girl. They say boy, I haven't believed them. If they say it again today, I'll believe them. finished it. Tasted nasty. I don't feel good now. Still have to be here for an hour before that is done and but I do get to see the baby. Okay done at the doctor's office. It's time to go get some food. I haven't eaten anything except for that yucky glucose drink and I don't feel so good so I need to get some food. Oh and the doctor said definitely a boy. We saw everything. He was not hiding. It is definitely a boy. Now it's just finding a name for him. Oh, you guys, have any of you had to do this? I get so cool every time I do this. I started like gagging up some of the stuff, the drink, when I was sitting there waiting. And all the nurses are so cute. They're like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry. This is so horrible. I, I hated having to do this. <laughs> Everybody hates having to do this. Even the doctor is like, yeah, I'm sorry. We didn't take enough time. So he's like, oh, you have a long time that you have to wait. I had to wait 45 minutes after my appointment. Hopefully we will find out today whether we have to worry about any of the diabetes. Time with your crazy hair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't go into the lab. Okay. We got my hair. How you do like getting your hair cut? Okay, done with haircuts. Looks like putting her hair back in a ponytail. What do you guys think? Is it good? I like them. Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I have to go to the doctor again. You know how I had my glucose test last week. Um, they called me back a couple days later and told me to call them, which I knew meant that I probably had something wrong and I'm testing a little high for glucose. I'm not in the actual range for gestational diabetes. It's just really close to it. And so they want to talk to me about diet and exercise. Hopefully, this goes well. I'm a little nervous. This baby doesn't like sugar anyway, so it'll probably be more of diet and lowering carbs and that kind of stuff intake. So we'll see what they say. Done with the doctor's appointment. Not great news, good news. I don't have gestational diabetes yet, um, but they have me on a diet. The bad news is I have to go back and do the three hour glucose test, which they said the drink is sugarier and you have to get your blood drawn before you take it and then right after and then again every hour after that. So it's going to be fun. So now we've got to call Curtis. Hey, I don't have gestational diabetes yet, but they put me on a diet to monitor my carb intake because I told them like this baby hasn't liked sugary stuff anyway. And so he said, well then it's probably more like breads and pastas. And he goes, hopefully, he goes, we're gonna take a couple weeks and then I have to go in and do the three hour 
glucose test in Ogden the Monday before my next appointment. So, love you. Bye. Yeah, I am not excited about taking this test again and having to get pricked, but it's better than if I get gestational diabetes. So he just said 40% carbs, 40% fats, and 20% protein. But the carbs are not like complex carbs where that are like pastas and breads and like fl white flour. So hopefully it goes well. Now let's get home. Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to give a little update about how the diet with the glucose stuff is going. I feel pretty good. I did have a day on Sunday where I got really sick and kind of dizzy and didn't feel very well. And I think that's probably because my blood sugars were too low because I've been like a crazy person tracking my macros and making sure I'm not eating. Like I haven't, there's no juices, um, little, little bits of fruit, but not all day and no complex carbs, which means no pasta, no bread. I have whole wheat bread, but not a lot of it. And so it's basically lots of meat and cheese and vegetables. My weight has gone down, but I was like super puffy a couple weeks ago. But for now, I've been really good. Carrots taste like candy right now. That's how much sugar I'm not eating. I do have some yogurt. Um, a couple times a day, not a lot, but just monitoring those sugars. Hopefully this is better for the baby and for me, and hopefully when we go in, in a couple weeks, everything will be good and I won't have gestational diabetes. So we'll keep you guys updated. We'll do a follow-up video after I have that appointment. Thanks for all of your guys' support. If you've ever dealt with gestational diabetes and have some tips for me or some meals that you think would be great, that would be a huge help. Please comment down below. Thanks, we'll see you guys later. Bye.